This conference will now be recorded. So guys, we'll give a couple of more minutes so that everyone can join. Since today uh, is our last session where I'm going to cover the remaining part of core connectors and I'm going to walk you through the overview of studio. So we'll wait for a couple of more minutes and then we'll start. Thank you. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Welcome, guys. I hope everyone can see my screen and I'm, I'm audible to everyone. So, yes, we started with the concept of core connectors where we completed first four parts. So, let me quickly recap what we have covered so far and then we'll test and then I'm going to talk about the other remaining part of core connectors and the overview of studio so i might extend the session for 15 to 20 minutes more since i don't want to uh, like ask you guys to wait for one more week so today we will going to complete the session okay so yes we started with a core connector where we created an integration system as i said guys there are some certified integration but since we need to learn from scratch so we created our own integration by using worker core connectors then we use the services services means though if i talk about worker there are multiple sections right there are personal information position information compensation leave so in my services i define which all services i want to i wanted to use in my integration then in integration attributes if i talk about personal information my personal information has got so many things but i don't need all the information to be transferred to third party system so what i did in attributes and override i select my output in override what we did guys imagine if i have my company running in multiple countries so obviously if i talk about integration my integration will be executed let's say for india i am using oracle for usa i am using cloud so what happens if i change my country my payroll vendor scene so what we can do is we can specify the integration for different different country so in overrides we can define a condition so in override what we did we gave the condition that only new york employees data should be transferred in sequence generator since i don't want my file to be there at uh, like static name so what happens whenever i run my integration it will give the sequence generator I mean it will generate the dynamic file name okay so till step four we have completed and let's see what we have done in our integration so how do we check integration guys there are several ways but the shortcut since we are talking about shortcuts so int sys is the prefix required and i know that 07 is the code which we were using i guess let me just recollect that no not the 07 i think 10 let me see that no 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 okay now if this is the case this becomes very tough so let's suppose i don't remember my integration name so what is the other way around i can look out for my okay which is manthan i know that whatever organization i created i gave the same name so sup let me see how many manthans are there so this is manthan 105 okay i guess 05 is the code which i have used let me see okay Ah, there are two zero fives. Okay, I remember that this is the one which I have created. Okay, so I have used zero five. So again, I'll go here and I'll look out for integration system hyphen zero five. Okay, I see these many integrations I have created, but I remember that this is the one which I have created. INT says CC stands for core connector worker demo 05 so this is my integration system and whatever i have completed till till step four we are going to see all the steps in our integration so yes if i see my integration this is my integration which i have created here i have defined my services step two defined services so i said some services are by default unable means i cannot uncheck this these are default means i don't have option to uncheck this so these are default here the one which was deep like optional i selected those so you see here 
these are my integration services which I have selected for my integration. I see I've added sequence generator, I've added transaction log, delivery services. I wanted to send my data to third party system, then document retention, how many for how many days my data document to be there. Then yes, I am sending personal information and I am sending position information. So I've selected my services. Right after that, I've given the attributes. So if I go here, see the attributes. Attributes means what all the values. So currently I said that I want output in XML format. Guys, understand in core connector, we have only two options, XML and CSV. This is only two option available. But if I wanted to move on with some other default or other file option then i have to write a code so as i said if i wanted to write a code i have to be handy with xml and xslt so we'll talk on that part currently what i say that i want the vanilla version of core connectors so what i did i defined my attributes here and here I have, okay if i wanted to give any name let's say gender in gender third party says they get mnf so i can add it over here that value from workday and the value should go to third party system. I can add it over here. Okay, so this is what I have done so far. This is the vanilla version. Now, how do I run my integration? So I go to my integration option where in integration and I see the option called integration and I see this launch option. Now, guys, what is the what is the purpose of using core connector? The purpose of using core connector is that we get the incremental data. Incremental data means only the changes data only the changes data not every time a full file will be sent what is the drawback of sending full file every time obviously my system will take time third party will also get uh, uh, unwanted data so to avoid that situation i am sending an incremental data okay now whenever i'm saying an inter incremental data how would my system justify whether this is the incremental data this is not the incremental data or this data is required this is not required there has to be some parameter or some date parameter on which ground the system should give me the information okay so i've been on the launch and schedule integration i say run now because i wanted to test my integration i'll click on okay okay and i see here now guys this parameter which i see here is very important now you see when i said run now i have these four dates last successfully run is blank and as of entry means what happened system will look out for all the data till today because what i did guys first time whenever i'm running my integration first time obviously i'm going to use full file if i go scroll down i get this information full file why because i am running my integration first time obviously first time i should be sending all my data to the third party system so first time i am sending my data full file and you see in my last successful run and last effective date there is no date okay now see what happens when i send a full file okay guys what i am doing since i am running my integration first time so whenever i am running my integration first time i have to send the data a full file to my third party because Currently, if I have 20,000 employees, all my records should go to payroll, right? Thereafter, I can have an incremental data. So let me run with the full file. So I'm running my integration. Okay. We remember, guys, we, we took first name, last name, gender, marital status, position data, and job data. This is what I have taken for my integration. So let's run the integration. Output file will show up in my output file. So since it is processing, let me run the integration. And guys, we remember we have considered only five fields first name, last name, gender, marital status, uh, job title, and position title. Okay, so we have considered these fields to be considered for our integration. And guys, my output file is XML. Okay, I said that my output file is XML. Okay, I got the status that my integration ran successfully, which is completed. In my output file, I see the output file. Now, guys, what is my output file? My output file, you see here, I have given the name, right? Output underscore file. This is my sequence, means I ran the integration first, then give the date, so which is date, sorry, which is year, date, and month. This was my format. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, so I get this my output file. Now, deliverable means when I talk about which file will be delivered to third party system. As of now, I have not defined the third party transport level, but whenever if I want to deliver the file, this is the file which will going to be delivered. The output format is C XML because I by default I chose XML. Now let's read this. Guys, every time when you wanted to open an XML file, make sure you use Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer will give you the best view of XML. So since I have downloaded my file, it asked me. Okay, let me get see here is my output file. Let me get it here. Okay, and I'll use Internet Explorer to view my output file. Okay, now see guys, this is my output file because my I chose my output file into an XML format. So I see my output file. This is my version. I chose 34. This is my entry time main. My entry time means this time I executed my integration. Specific time is given. And now read what I said, guys. I needed employee ID. But see, I have not selected employee ID, but by default, Workday will give employee ID whenever you don't want any output, but employee ID will be selected. So though I have not given employee ID, this information is by default populated. Now, what all information I said, guys? I needed from personal data section. Now let's understand this XML. How to read this XML? From personal section, which all information I selected from personal data, I selected first name Manthan. I selected last name Mathur. Then under position data, I selected position and job title. This is what I have selected from my employees profile. Okay, how many records I got? I got eight records. That means the location which I selected has eight employees. And since I ran my integration full file, so what happens? Effective this date and time, whichever employee is there in that location, it will give me all the files. Okay. Now, guys, you said that where is my marital status? Where is my gender? Because all of these information we have not given the gender and all the information. That is the reason I am not able to see gender and marital status. Now, what I do, I have already sent the full file. Now I go ahead and add the data for month and month. If I add the data for month and month, what should happen? If I check about incremental data means only Manthan's information should be delivered. All employees' information should not be executed. Why? Because when I run second time, my integration will be incremental data. Now let's deal with that. So I go to my browser. Okay, I look out for Manthan Mathur and I'll change the not change. I will give the personal information for Manthan because currently Manthan doesn't have any personal information. Okay, I can go from here and look out for Manthan Mathur. Okay, this is my org. Okay, I have Manthan Mathur in place. Let me change the personal information of Manthan Mathur. How do I change? I go to Manthan Mathur's profile. There are multiple ways, guys. I go to personal data and I'm going to talk about edit personal information. In personal information, I considered marital status and gender. So see, as of now, Manthan Mathur information is not, not been updated. So I go here and I'll give the gender, let's say male and since we are considering marital status also let me give marital status married okay and let's say i am done with this okay submit let's see what happens okay my you sorry your data submitted view details will give me the information okay process completed that means what happened guys when i ran my integration i got full file right after running my integration I updated the gender for Manthan Mathur. Okay. Now, if I go ahead and run the incremental data, I should only be able to see Manthan's record because after running first integration, whatever changes are there, which will be considered. Now, let's see what happens when I again run the integration. Okay. So, I got my output file full file. Now, let me again run the integration. 
we will see what happens sorry i go here again integration and i'll say launch okay so yes i wanted to test now so i'm going to run my integration okay now see guys here is the catch here is the difference now when i first time ran my integration this date was blank now guys we have to understand these because i have already sent the full time so now i'm not going to send my full file again if i'm sending a full file what happens i am sending the redundant data so there is no point sending a redundant data my party says now okay i have all the employees data whenever there is a change you give me only changes only file but how would my system identify whether this is the change my system identify based on these dates now first two date is now read the date last successfully run is my two date means this is my two date and this is my from date okay i'm sorry i i gave it wrong this is my from two date so what happens any changes which are happened from this to this date my sister system will only consider that you're getting me now here is my benefit now every time i don't have to deal with my dates my system will automatically give me the last successful run means when i ran my integration this was my last successful run since i am running the integration two days so sorry i am running the integration now between these two dates whatever changes were there my system will only pick that guys this parameter is very important see here it says last successful run as of entry means i ran my integration just now then this was my last effective date what happens means any data which are changed from this date and time to this date and time my system will only consider that now what i did after running the integration i only changed manthan mathur's personal information so let's see what happens and then we will understand why it is happened why it is shown this way okay so i am running my integration let me refresh okay let me refresh and see it takes 15 to 30 second reason why it is taking it is running so quick because i have given a condition that i want only new york 05 employees to be consider for our integration or rather all our organ uh, uh, location new york bangalore and mumbai that is the reason my integration is running quick you see it's completed obviously guys i am going to see my output file here now we'll see the difference in name also you see it says output file to okay 020 i think in my sequence generator i have given something wrong that is the reason it is saying 23 it should be 4 okay so i'll see what is there but you see in sequence it says this is the output file number 2 yes i ran one and this is my second file okay now let's get into the output file guys now this time my incremental data should show means uh, only manthan mathur's record should should populate in my integration it should not show up any other integration so here is my output file let me go back and sorry open open with internet explorer now see guys i only see manthan mathur's record earlier when i ran my full file i showed eight employees but now if i see here you see i got only one record why because after i ran this integration i only change one record and what was it gender and male you see only this information only one employee's record will be populated so you got the point my core connector is considering the incremental data okay now you will say that how system identifies that only manthan mathur's information is changed not other employee because when i go to manthan mathur's profile okay let me go back to manthan mathur's profile okay i go to manthan mathur's profile when i ran the integration what i did guys 
this is my date parameter right that consider all the changes after this date and time till these days and time means if any data which are changed between these date my system will only consider that okay now how would my system identify which data and which date so if i go to manthan mathur's profile ah, this is his demographic okay let me look out for manthan mathur okay so i go to manthan mathur's profile okay now guys all my changes which i did via business process will show up under my job and then worker history okay under worker history i see a transaction that the personal information for manthan mathur is being changed okay see the date it has been initiated 0404 2021 720 and what time i gave for my integration i gave my integration that any data change from this date to this date now you see date and time my changes is at 720 and it is started at 18 and ends at 21 that means my changes are falling under this date range okay what if if i go ahead and change somebody else information let's say okay i go here and now i'm going to change somebody else information let's say ajay verma okay i go here and i'll add ajay verma's personal information now see what should be showing up into the output file if i add ajay verma's information any cases if i run the integration now what information it should show should it show manthans as well as ajay verma's profile or only ajay verma's information any guesses guys what information my integration will show okay let me change this okay done okay i have given the information i should get guys very important point where only ajay. i see yeah only ajay but very important point to be considered guys i can only get the information when my process is successfully completed any in progress transaction will not be considered in integration because when i say in progress means there are chances we can cancel the transaction that is the reason my business process should be successfully completed okay i added the information for ajay verma again let me go back now guys see last data okay let me be on this page i'll just duplicate this Manthan, the full fill we added, right? How long will it be there in the system? Come again, I didn't get that. Uh, like initially we added the full file, right? Complete file. So how yeah. long will that file be in the workday system, in the tenant? See, document retention policy, right? I said it should be there in thirty days. Maximum it could be one eighty days. So for one eighty days, that file will be there in workday. After one hundred days, file will automatically go. so what you can do is let's suppose you need that file you can look get the file from your deliverable let's suppose you are delivering it to third party or else you can have a copy of it on your local machine okay so yes there is a concept of document retention right so document retention says maximum of 180 days a file will be there in workday application right after 180 days file will be gone okay this is what is been given by workday we don't have any right yes we can Like decrease the date, but yes, maximum could be 180. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. Now see. Okay. Now, guys, what I am doing? I am again running this integration. Now we'll check about the date parameter because in core connector, date parameter is the vital information because all my data which is going to roll up into my integration file has to be considered based on this date. Now you see, whatever was my start date, end date earlier. now it has become the start date and this is my end time you are getting it see this was my end time okay let me look out the earlier integration and you see my end time was 444 72113 and this has become my 72113 become my entry point so any data which is being changed from this date to this date and time my system will only consider that if i say that so obviously manthan mathur's information this time will not show up okay let me test that
Okay, I ran my integration, guys. It takes 15 to 20 seconds. We will see the output. Now, guys, okay, in terms of testing, yes, there are a lot many things we have to test. So, testing, I'm going to give you a scenario that on what ground you should be testing it. That scenario is purely based for a certification. So, when you go for a certification, the testing scenario is given by Workday. I'm going to give you that. That if you wanted to go more into core connectors, so I'll share you the scenario. Okay, let me get this first. Okay, my integration is completed. Obviously, I'll get into my output file and here is my sequence number three. Okay, I think in my sequence, I've given something wrong information. That is the reason it is incrementing by seven. So I think I've given a week rather, but let me just look out for my output file. As I said, guys, the best way to look out for the output file is in Internet Explorer. Why? Because my output file is currently into Okay, okay. It is not showing any information. Did I save the information after changing that or else? It should show up. Okay, it is not giving me any file. Now guys, if it is not giving any file, what I have to do? I have to check for my information. Okay, now let's go back to the integration. Okay, it has not generated any output file. Let me look out for Ajay Verma's profile. Yeah, it is completed successfully. Now guys, what happens if you didn't get any output file what you'll be doing you will be looking out for integration condition right i gave some condition how do i get my condition let me go back to my integration view so i go to my view action okay here i go my related actions and i'll talk about my override because in override i have given some condition so integration there is field override and let's see that what is that field override my field override says that the location should be this okay so if ajay verma is not belong to this location his information will not show up into the integration you're getting it guys here in my field override i have put in the condition that if location belongs to this then only my information should flow up okay now let's see which location ajay verma is coming from because i have considered bangalore mumbai and new york if ajay verma follows this condition then only he'll be rolling up in my integration if it is not following then he should not now guys again it's a challenge right so let's try and test that information so i go here i look out for ajay verma let me see view detail okay so i know that there is a employee called ajay verma okay this is coming from here let me see the location guys okay see see the location guys mumbai 06 and in integration which location i considered mumbai 05 bangalore 05 new york 05 you are getting me that means my override will give me which employee is to be considered so if i go with this way my integration is ran successfully getting it guys does everyone follow this part mm -hmm. okay okay so yes my system integration is running fine because in my condition i very well i very well said that the boss only consider this now let's say i now realize that my location was not there so i update my condition okay update my condition and add this location which is mumbai 06 okay mumbai 06 okay now guys if i wanted to get again ajay verma's information in my integration so what i have to do i have to again rerun my integration but i have to make one point very sure that if i rerun the integration sorry if i rerun the integration okay if i rerun the integration now guys what happens since 
my integration is ran i got zero file so what happened my system will again look out for this date and time so what happens within this date and time there is no change so i'll again get a zero file so what i do i got to know that that last time my integration didn't show any information so here i'll put 21 and now i should get any employees information because i said that that my last successful run from this time any changes which are there in the system within this state range give me that information okay now let's run and see that let's wait The usually it takes 15 to 20 seconds so we'll wait for 20 seconds and then we'll refresh Mantan, uh what if we don't remember the in, uh, last entry time no we will get to know because there is any integration you are running there is a process log is there let's suppose you don't remember there is a process monitor called from here you can get to know process monitor okay you don't remember time i get to that but yes you need to remember your name okay so i go here and i type that i'm talking about integration yes you need to know your name which is int sys 05 let me see if i could get my integration name okay now i give my date range and i wanted to see how many times i ran my integration so let's run guys if i see here i ran my integration three times and the one which i am running is now right so overall how many times i ran my integration guys i ran my integration four times if i can if i consider this one as well so i see all my four records here from here i get to know that okay now let me look out for my last run activity so from date and time i can get to know that this is i ran at 7 30 so this would be my last i go to process or rather i can go to request and here i'll get to know my last successful date and time can you see here see 7 21 13. make sense then okay. okay since my integration ran successfully okay it is completed obviously i'll get my output file and also from my sequence i get to know that i am running fourth time so yes process monitor on my integration file giving me gives me a information okay as i said employee and see make sense does this work guys okay now let's move on now this is like i think i have multiple scenarios i'm gonna give you the information for testing also okay now i am going to talk about the other four part okay this is vanilla version of core connectors where i am not using any programming language if my third party says i want output in csv i want output in xml yes this is what i'm gonna do what if if i wanted to change my output file okay we, i have an option of changing from xml to csv you want to get into csv my vendor says no i don't want header i want header i want some changes on the output file see i'm not talking about my data i'm talking about my output format here i'm getting ajay verma's profile also i need ajay verma's profile but my output file file should be showing into txt format where i need all the names and there so if i wanted to tweak with my output file then obviously i have to write an xslt program so i'm going to talk about that part okay my transaction log says now see here what i have done any changes to manthan's profile based on that data i am getting that but again if i'm very specific about i only need marital status change i don't need gender i don't need position change i only need marital changes data let's say i wanted to send this information to benefit provider so benefit provider is more interested in your dependent right if you are 
getting married or if you are getting separated in either case that my file like i want my file to be considered only the marital status changes so in my transaction log i can put again transaction log means it is again a one kind of condition in override what i did i said that this is my location which i want to be considered for my integration same thing my transaction i am not going to put location i am going to talk about if this transaction is going to be considered only this so let me show you how do you do that so yes let me go back to my integration i go my i go to my integration from this since i have opted for my services so i go to integration system and i see this option configure integration transaction log okay if i go to transaction log what happens i see these options by default it is subscribed to all the transaction type but if i don't want all the transaction if i want any specific transaction to be considered so i see all this information subscribe to a specific transaction type subscribe to all business process subscribe to all business process type except subscribe to all transaction type or if i wanted to put let's say i wanted to talk about only marital status Mm. okay let's say i wanted to talk about marital status so what happens see if i check this what happens even my general info even my personal name changes or my name changes or my gender changes or position changes my integration will only give me the information if there is change with the marital status so in my transaction log depending upon the requirement guys we don't have any right to choose which option is to be selected it is the vendor will give me the requirement that i need personal information changes i need marital information changes i need so 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 changes so what i'll do depending upon the requirement i'm going to give this information since this was the step i just wanted to show you that here you can define which transaction you are interested in okay so in my transaction log i am going to do that as of now let me be all so that we can do our testing in appropriate approach okay now why business process will be executed why i want business process now guys as i said as of now till chapter 5 what was having or sorry uh, rather this chapter sorry step 6 what was having i am dealing with the default output file which is xml or xslt now guys my require my vendor says that boss i want a tweak in output my receiving my system let's say oracle says that the output file which workday is generating my system is not taking that i want a tweak in my output file now guys remember whenever there is requirement tweak in the output file then only we have to write an xslt code obviously guys as i said workday understand xml or csv workday will say the boss this is what i understand as an output file if you want to to tweak the output file then you have to go ahead and write an xslt code if you are able to write the code you can get your data in whatever format you need now guys it's time to deal with that okay if i wanted to transfer my data i have to create another integration okay guys when i want when i wanted to transfer my document my xml document given by workday to be transferred into any other output format then there is one defined template given by workday which is document transformation so i'm going to create another integration guys this is just a step create okay create integration system now guys what i needed i need to transfer my output file where output file from xml should be given into a desired output file then i am going to use a document transformation tag so there is a defined template whenever i wanted to transfer any document there is a document transformation docu sorry template is there See document transformation. So I'm going to use this template 
guys obviously if i'm using document transformation i have to give in the same way so i say int sys underscore dt okay worker underscore zero five okay dt stands for document transformation i am dealing with worker and my zero five with my code okay so guys what i am doing i am creating one another integration where i'm gonna talk about my document transformation okay let me create this and what happens now guys here i'm gonna ask you guys to learn a programming language if you are interested okay Guys, one moment. okay guys sorry and thank you for that okay now i created a new integration using document transformation but once i've selected i've got an error so let's understand what is this error is about because workday errors are very genuine and it gives you a clear instruction how to resolve that so it says that the integration system uses a document attachment yes i said that i'm gonna say a document attachment but my output file is missing it says before initiating this event you need to configure the attachment services using using the related action menu items integration system configure integration attachment okay it basically says since i am talking about document transformation means i wanted to transfer my output file so it is saying that when you use document transformation you have to have a xslt file what is an xslt file guys xslt file is that file which will transfer my xml file into an desired output file so i have already written that code let me show you that i have already written this code this is my xslt file see let this open okay so this is my xslt file guys now see anyone who deals with programming language they'll be able to understand this okay anyone who understand programming as i said if you wanted to deal with this you have to know how xslt and xml codes are written so what i did guys i have already written an xslt code to transfer my document now how do i understand that whether it has been transferred or not or rather let me see if i could open this in notepad plus yeah i can open this this gives me a better view okay now this is my xslt code guys now understand i don't have to write the code from scratch because whenever we wanted to transfer data into csv or any other format workday will give you the template let's suppose you wanted to convert this output file into an csv file so for csv the header and the footer will be given by workday if you wanted to convert into json the header and footer will be given by workday okay so the header and footer which i am using is for csv or it's for txt output so if i wanted to update my output file from xml to txt i have the header which is this okay and i have the footer okay in between what is there i have to write now let me explain how this code has been written now guys at one side i have my xml open okay my xml file is open this is my xml file okay let me open the one where i see a data so this is my xml file 
I have to derive my output based on this XML. So how do I read this? Let's understand. Now this is my XSLT file, guys, where I have clearly mentioned that I need. See, I am talking about header. So I am clearly saying that I need employee ID, first name, last name, marital status, gender, position, and job title. These fields I needed on my output file. So I have given my column okay now where do i get my employee id so what i did guys here here i have declared my variable that i'm going to use employee id first name last name all those things so here i have declared my variable and here i am giving the reference how would my report will get the employee id now read this here i have declared my output so i am saying get the employee id from where i get the employee id i should get the employee id from ws system and from system I should get employee ID. Now look out your XML. It clearly says under worker, I have WS system. From WS system, I need employee ID. So here I have mentioned go to XML file, look out for employee ID, and from WS system, give me employee ID. So I've got employee ID. Now I say I need first name. Where do I get the first name? It says you should get the first name from personal name underscore data first name now let me read how do i get it you see this personal name underscore data first name if i wanted to talk about last name i'm say personal name underscore data and then last name see here personal name underscore data last name so what i doing guys here basically i am using my xml reference guys understand xml and xslt goes hand in hand so what I'm doing, I am using my XML as an input for my XSLT program. So I have written my XSLT program here. Here I have defined my header and here I have given the reference. So my XSLT file is ready. If my file is ready, I have to attach this file to my document transformation. So I go here. Guys, I'm not taking more time to explain this because this is all about your programming skill so if you guys are handy with your programming skill you guys will be able to understand this if not i am not asking any one of you to learn new programming language even though you don't understand this this is not the end of the world you guys can very well consider as an workday techno functional consultant i am explaining this anyone who wanted to make their career in integration only for those candidates this skill is required okay so I am done with my output file. I've got an error here. The error says that was you need to attach the XSLT file. Okay, I go to my out uh, related action. I got to know the error that under integration system, I see uh, the error on the attachment services. So I go to attachment services. Here I'm gonna attach my service. Okay, I'm gonna, I know that my file, is under desktop under workday uh, where is my ccw and this is my output file so i've already created the xslt in place so i have given i have attached my xslt document here okay so what happens guys now my document transformation is having my xslt programming code but again here is a catch how would my primary integration will be integrated now i have two integration both the integrations are individual integrate uh, individual integration there is no relation between the other two this is my primary integration where an xml file where an xml file will be delivered to this integration now guys there is no relationship if i wanted to create a relationship how do i connect my both the integration I connect both the integration bases on my business process. Okay, so I go to my primary integration, guys. I go to the related action and I see one option called business process. See, I'm gonna say create, copy, or link definition. Here I can link the definition, means from this integration, I'll be calling uh, this integration. So let me go here none of the above i don't want any existing definition to be copied so i will have a default definition okay step a initiation step b will 
fire the integration fire the integration means primary integration right after step b i want step c here i am going to select integration because i want right after right my main integration is been executed i want another integration to be considered which integration i am talking about here i am talking about this integration so let me say that i have used integration let me save the definition it gives me an error boss you are using integration so where you have assigned the integration see i said step a business process will execute step b my primary integration will be executing when this is been executed consider the output file for this integration which is this integration the one which i have created document transformation so i'll put the definition here okay now guys you are making sense what i am doing here i am linking my dynamic or oh, sorry i am linking my primary integration to my secondary document transformation integration now let's read initiation b trigger the primary integration where i get xml as an output here whatever output i am getting as an xml will be given to this integration which integration my document transformation which i have created just now so yes here i have given now guys once this is done i wanted to deliver my integration to third party system right i wanted to define the delivery system also where do i add my delivery system i'm going to add my delivery system right here so yes i go here and edit the business process okay i'm going to add one more step which is my delivery so whatever we have learned in eib we will have all the delivery method here as well so i'm not going to take more time to explain that since we already did that in eib so which is d here i'll select type as okay here i select type as service which service i'm going to use i'm going to use delivery service document delivery service done let me click on okay okay i've got an error why because it says since you are using a document delivery service but we were not defining the delivery so i have to define the delivery if i wanted to define delivery i'll click on configure document guys whatever option we had seen in eib we will have all the options see document from this integration all previous integration where i want the document from this integration this means my primary integration document okay how many times system should attempt it should attempt three times if my integration is not working attempt three times and then don't execute it okay what is my transport type now here guys i see all the options right i spoke about this thing so let's say i want my delivery because i don't have sftp workday cloud a2s i don't have anything here so just to execute and complete the process i'll say email that send my output file even this will not going to work but i'm going to temporarily give abc at the gmail.com because to enable this delivery method i have to have a production in training environment what happens if i give somebody's else email id he will be bombarded with the notification so that is the reason the testing environment or the training environment is disabled with the notification okay i'm going to put the same thing just to make sure that i have given some delivery method uh, uh, sorry okay i have this okay encryption type now guys here i am asking my third party system to get get this data so guys there is a concept of encryption and decryption again this is nothing to do with workday anyone who understand how encryption and description decryption work that all those will be able to understand this now what is encryption and description decryption i'm going to just give you an overview now guys what i am doing i am sending workday data to oracle how would oracle will get to know that the data is given by workday because if i talk about this generation there are lot many hacks are happening so what i do i will have a private key 
and i will give the public key to my oracle that say whenever you receive a file from workday use that public key to decode the data that means if my file is been delivered to oracle but if that oracle vendor doesn't have the public key that is to open the document the file will not be opened so what i'll do guys i'll have private key guys this is the concept of encryption and decryption it is nothing to do with workday okay so i'll have my private key in place and i'll give the public key to the vendor what happens when oracle will get the file he oracle will decode the data by using public key if this is happening then only oracle will able to see the data guys obviously since we are sending a data over an email or over an internet obviously encryption and decryption has to be happen so guys again if i wanted to have there is again i need to purchase some pgb so i'm going to temporarily create one i say first key okay and i'll say okay so what i did guys i have added my integration delivery method here over an email okay now if i look at my integration how would this work let me look out my main integration okay this is my main integration okay now let me read how this integration is correlating with document transformation okay so if i see this is my attributes that i want xml okay then under business process i will get to know that how would my data will migrate so this business process what this business process actually doing this business process actually getting the output from my main integration and delivering it to my document transformation and under this business process i have also given my document transformation okay now guys i am done with my document transformation i have written a code guys i have not giving more time on this because of several reasons but yes this xslt and xml is required for those who wanted to deal with a technical part of workday okay okay now i have given my integration now guys we need to understand because what does this document transformation file will do this file will be converting my xml into an txt format where txt file will be delivered to my third party now if i wanted to test that what i am going to do i am going to execute again the run parameter will remain the same i go to my integration i will launch since i have not changed the data what happens i'll have to give backdated date so that i my integration should get some files okay so what i'll do again i'll change this to i'll change this time to 20 one so that i get some data okay that's it the parameter will not change again core connector works will incremental format means it will work in the incremental format okay so what i did guys i ran my integration okay while running my integration what will happen i will have to consider two types of integration one is my primary integration and the other one is my document transformation now let's try and understand see here i'm not getting refresh why i'm not getting refresh because my integration is not one here i'll have to run the two integration so i have to go with the parent even because now my integration has parent and child so i go on to my parent so it says my parent integration is completed but my parent is completed i'll scroll down and let me go back to my main integration okay guys i am toggling it just wait okay this is my overall integration it stays filled okay why it is filled we'll get into that as i said guys since i have added two integration so this is my first integration let me scroll down and here i get to know about my two integration see this is my main integration okay why it is filled i'll tell you the reason obviously any status i see here i get the status okay it says my main integration is completed means xml file is completed there is no issue with the xml file if i am getting fail me there is something with my second day integration okay let's move on scroll down so it clearly says 
my primary integration which is demo 05 executed correctly there is no issue obviously there is something to do with my secondary okay what is it what is there in my secondary let's read even it says that my document transfer is completed successfully even my second integration completed successfully then where why it is failed let me scroll down and it says that the delivery method i gave abcd that gmail.com so it says since system doesn't identify that email that is the reason my delivery failed but my integration executed see int says dt document transformation integration completed my delivery failed because of obvious reason i don't have original email id and importantly even this tenant is not configured to deliver the integration to any email id that is the reason my delivery failed otherwise if i would have opened my integration here then my delivery would have been delivered to abcd but abcd email id doesn't exist so my delivery failed my integration failed i agree the delivery method failed okay okay now if it is failed how to deal with it now guys i have multiple files now how do i get my file now read this it says see txt file default output file this is the file which i get from my primary integration main integration which is xml let me read the document file for main integration this is my main integration okay let me read this sorry yeah this is my main integration i get one employee here which is ajay verma's record okay this is my output file generated from primary integration okay but i used document transformation why i use document transformation to get the file in other format which is txt now let's open this file okay txt will open in notepad let me open that okay i'm not getting it let me see that again let me generate this file okay open okay this is my file let me open notepad because txt works or looks good in notepad now see this is my output file so what happened guys i converted my xml output into an txt see right in my xml i am getting ajay verma's name even in my output file i am getting this into txt nowhere in my primary system i have mentioned that i need txt because in core connector we are not able to get txt there is no option to get the data in txt so what how i get this i get this based on my xslt program okay i have written a program based on this program what workday did workday gets the output from xml and converted into an txt this conversion is called as document transformation guys you are getting this see nowhere in my primary integration i have said that i want i don't see option to get it into txt i get this default definition txt from my document transformation so why my what my document transformation did my document transformation considers the xml as an input and based on my xslt program it changes the output file from xml to txt okay now if i wanted to deal or tweak this output then i have to change in my xslt program let's suppose my vendor says i don't want header so i have to get rid of header from my xslt file because since i am down completing this into txt i don't have workday doesn't have any rights to deal with txt workday says as in workday application i am going to give you an xml now after xml whichever format you want you have to write an xslt code that is the reason why xslt because xslt is a program which is required to convert data from xml that is the reason i am focusing more on xslt why not i am saying c++ and uh, c sharp .net? i am not saying that i am saying xslt why because if i am dealing with workday integration 
XSLT is a programming language which will convert my XML file. Does this make sense, guys? Whatever I have done in last one hour, because I know this is pure technical. And again, if you guys are not following, it is not like I am forcing you guys to learn this. It is only purely dedicated to those consultants who wanted to make their career in workday integration. Guys, understand if I say workday integration, I will no longer be involved in any functional part. So, right, we wanted to play safe. So, we can call ourselves as a techno functional consultant. What is a techno functional consultant? Apart from studio, apart from core connectors, XSLT part, anything in Workday is done by Workday Techno Functional Consultant. So report writer, EIV, calculated field are part of my technical thing. And yes, we have already done HCM part. So we can very well go ahead and call it ourselves as a Techno Functional Consultant. Okay. As I said, guys, we are also going to talk about studio. Again, studio is pure technical. Pure means pure technical. So, as I said in the demo also that we are going to have an overview of studio. So, let's, right, let's give me uh, one minute so that I open my PPTs and all. And we can take a break of one minute since I've been talking from so long and it is very, uh, again, it is a tough part to digest. So, just take one minute to analyze recap what i have done if you have any queries in terms of this i'm going to talk on that part or else i'll start with overview of studio in overview of studio also guys i am myself taking initiative and talking about bird reporting business intelligent reporting since we know bird we know advanced report by default we know advanced report i am going myself it is not described in the like session or it was not given in the content which we are going to cover but yes i do understand since we come from a reporting background then it's better to understand bird reporting okay so i'm going to talk about bird reporting in quite uh, let's say in 8 45 i'm gonna start my session okay 8 45 so just wait for two minutes let me in the meantime i look out for my ppts Mantan? Mantan? Yeah, but, <clears throat> Would you also be uh, giving overview of PRISM? No, no, no. PRISM was not at all part of this, guys. PRISM is altogether high level reporting. It is doesn't, PRISM doesn't come with this. PRISM is altogether high, nothing to do with your advanced reporting. PRISM is altogether different. It's uh, like a new concept. If you want, I'll give you a definition for what purpose we can use PRISM. Okay. I'll give yeah. you that. Let me cover what was promised. And then later on, if you guys want, I'll give you the definition where prism can be used. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, we'll start at 846.
Okay, just one moment. Uh, I'm looking out for that presentation, which uh, was actually that was not in the session that I'm going to talk about bird. But since I promised, so let me look out for that. I'm searching for that PPT and I'm not getting it. So just give me one more minute so that I can get that and walk you through the. Yeah, yes, I got it. One half a minute, guys. Sorry for that, but. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. As I said, guys, uh, we are going to have an overview of Studio. So yes, when I say overview, we need to understand what all things comes under overview. Who should be actively participating in Studio? If someone wanted, let's suppose if any one of you are interested in Studio, so yes, you need to have some prerequisites when you say you are a Studio consultant. So it says. Workday Studio is a third option that enables to build, own, and support much more sophisticated integration, which Workday hosts and run on your job you have. Unlike Core Connectors and EIB Studio is in part of Workday. Very important point, guys. Whatever been given by Workday, Core Connectors, EIB report, we have completed all those things. But Core Connect, sorry, Workday Studio is not part of Workday. It is a third-party application. Okay, we all know that it is an ellipse-based integration development environment, or wherein IDE integrated development environment that you download separately. So yes, when I talk about Workday Studio, there is an EXE file of one GB which needs to be installed on the local machine, and from there we create an integration there and we deploy onto the Workday application. Yes, as with any other integration in the tenant, can launch, schedule, and audit the integration build with Studio. Yes, we can perform all the activities with Studio as well. Studio creates integration can be launched from Studio itself or from the Workday application. So yes, we can launch integration from both the applications. Okay, let's move on. Who should be targeted? Let's suppose if any one of you are wondering why we should not go for Studio. Yes, you can very well go for Studio if you have these things. As a development skill set, so obviously development is required. Is familiar with integration programming concept and is comfortable using an IDE. If you guys are comfortable with these three things, yes, then very well you are the targeted user who can go ahead and understand the Workday Studio. Okay, as I said, we are going to talk about Workday Studio. So obviously we need to have a exe file as i said guys the exe file is of 1 gb so sharing here this is not possible but let's see how you can get a workday studio exe file so you need to install as i said guys workday studio is third party id tool integrated development tool or an environment so obviously i should have that installed on my local machine so let's see if i could Open Workday Studio. Here is my Workday Studio. Let me go back to Workday Studio. So I'm opening my Workday Studio where I have installed my Workday Studio onto my machine. In the meantime, it is opening. Let's see what we are going to talk about. As I said, guys, we are going to talk about BERT, Business Intelligence Reporting Tool. What is Business Intelligence Reporting Tool? It says, Workday Report Designer is a graphical layout tool which allows to define the layout of document generated from reports. Yes, you all are aware that you need, you can create custom report in Workday, but layout is not done by us, right? What we can do is we can get data into an XML format, e, see, sorry, uh, in Excel format, we can get the data. What about my layout? If I wanted to have a logo, I wanted to have some color coding, I wanted to have a saturatory warning. I wanted to have a signatory. All this layout kind of thing cannot be done in Workday. If I want, it has to be do. It has to be done in Workday Studio. So when I talk about a layout for reports, then I have to use Workday Studio. There is no other alternate 
to create the layout so that is the reason for bird we are going to use studio okay business users can create or modify presentable business form and report such as customer invoice expense reports merit statements and deploy them to their work data and so what we'll be doing we'll be creating our outlook we'll be creating our layout in studio and once we finalize our layout we are going to deliver that layout onto workday so where we are going to do it we are going to create the layout in studio onto our local machine once we finalize that then we are going to migrate that layout from our tenant from our studio to workday tenant okay obviously if i am migrating something there has to be linking so we'll have to link workday studio with our tenant whatever whichever tenant we are using we have to link that with our studio then only and guys one should have integration administrator access to work on studio if you don't have integration access you won't be able to perform workday integration so you should be having integration administrator security group okay report designer is built on the popular open source software which is bird and runs with workday studio so yes in workday studio there is a sub part called open source reporting which is bird and if we wanted to create any layout we have to run or create the layout in that application okay let me give you the examples of okay let's first cover this and then we'll talk about the examples okay workday displays the results and enable you to download as a pdf pdf version you can associate this pdf with a specific okay i can have my business form layout defined okay there are three scenarios where i can use business form layout right we generate pay slips okay the pay slips has company logo and then the information written then we see offer letter right when we generate some offer letter expense report when i update my expense information i get some expense report from workday so what are these these are custom report but associated with business form layout wherein i get the data from workday but the layout is been updated in studio we are going to see a a small simple bird layout how to configure bird in studio a delivered report can be customized to have a bird layout or i can have my custom report defined or if i have a default if i have a report already defined but i don't like that bird i can override that bird information okay now let me talk about what is bird information okay guys since i have opened unwanted tabs let me cancel those then we'll move on okay so yes if i'm talking about layout obviously i'm just giving one example guys we are going to create our own bird layout but before that i just wanted to give you the overview that if i say bird layout what does that mean it is very extensive okay when i say bird means i am just going to give you the example we are not going to go that deep since it is an overview but i'll give you an update let's say i wanted to look out for logan mcneil's performance report okay i wanted to see what score per what score uh, logan mcneil achieved in her performance so i go to uh, like here i see performance under review okay i see this option called create pdf okay let me create and this is one of the example of my bird reporting so let's get this downloaded and then i'll show you okay once i say notify me later means i'll get a notification yeah i got the notification now you see here see whatever information i see on this page is coming from workday right first name last name but what i did i formatted this information in word so see in terms of i can see the photo here her name is in blue and bold then this is what i can achieve via word okay 
all this information obviously it is coming from work day there is no doubt so if i wanted to deal with bert means i need all this information in my custom report and from there i can call my data in my bird by saying that photo i need here logan mcneil a name of the an employee should be highlighted in blue i can deal with that so whatever information i see is all the information is coming from workday right so yes even we need a custom report where i can get all these information yes in terms of layout yes it's depend upon my skill if i am good at programming if i good at creating an outlet uh, layout i can very well go ahead and generate this kind of thing so yes guys let's start with a simple bird report using studio as i said we are going to talk about studio overview so this was the bird was the main reason that i wanted to focus because you guys have already know bird reporting then it's better to start with the one which we already know so let me quickly create a custom report there i'll require only five field so i'll say custom create report okay okay so i'll say cr bird report underscore 05 very important point guys whenever i want my report to be used for integration i should be using that as a advance and this web service should be enabled i talked about this in eib so you yeah, have same prerequisites and let me talk about worker okay i'm going to deal with worker here let me have rather i'll be safe all active employee okay yes based on this data source i'm going to create a report guys enable should be there okay let me quickly have emp id i can use calculated field also there is no uh, formula that i should not be using it i can use my calculated field also but let me use the delivered one employee id then i need worker where i get the worker first name and last name in one section worker then i need the higher it so guys if i wanted to create a bird layout i have to make sure that i get that information in report first if i get the information in report yes then i can very well place this output in the layout i can very well go ahead and do that location so guys bird report is the prerequisites so let me add this information and one more thing i'll have five column rather five field okay done one thing is required guys enable web service to be enabled okay let's i created this so my report is okay okay guys let me put a filter what happens or else i'll get 3 30000 records so let me be safe and put it a filter i can put the filter in bert also but in bird it is bit tough so rather i'll put it the i'll put my condition here so that when i generate my bird it should not take huge time to run the information so i go here i go to filter and i give an information here by saying the location should be or supervisory organization i want supervisory organization and the subordinate so that i get to see all the information which i have in manthan inc so let me see if i get that option uh 
apa? Supervisory organization. Supervisory organization, organization top organization. Let's see what happens here. If I give here and I say I wanted the information for month and zero five. I should get eight record because I have hired eight employees. Guys, I'm purposely putting conditions so that my BERT report should not be overloaded with the data. Let me run and see the output. Okay, I see nine records. Okay, uh, I agree to this. That means I see nine record in my organization based on my condition. Okay, so my BERT report, my advanced report is done in the report. Now I wanted to use Studio. Okay, is it asking me for its workday update? I'll update it at later so that I can work on it. Okay, since I have some bird report designed, let me cancel that. Let me delete all the bird reports so that I should create the new. So, guys, this is my bird, uh, uh, rather studio layout. Let me remove all these things. Okay, so I have removed. As you see here, guys, I have two options. See, this is Workday Studio. Let me open. And guys, I should be having an integration administrator access because what I'm going to do, I'm going to link my Workday Studio with my tenant. Okay, so this is my studio overview. Okay, this is how it looks. It has Project Explorer, it has Schema Explorer, it has Cloud Explorer. All the options are here. As I said, I'm gonna deal with BERT reporting. So right after studio, I see one option called report design. Since I'm dealing with report design, I'm talking about BERT report. So I'm click on report design. My overall look change because I am using report design for my existing report. Guys, okay, I'll talk about place where I have integrated with my tenant. As of now, there is no integration, right? This Workday Studio is not linked with my tenant. We will consider that. In one place, we'll be going to do that. Okay. Before I start with any any programming thing, I need to define a project. So again, I'll do the same thing. I go to file. I say new project. Okay. What project I needed? I needed a report project. So I'm gonna select. I give a project name as first Bert. Okay. I've given this project name. Okay. My project is ready. Okay, under project, which project I wanted to create? So I say, okay, I wanted a new report design. So next, okay, let this be next. Okay, so I have my design here. Guys, what I did, I created my project. Under project, I created a new design so that where I can gonna design it. Okay, this is as of now nothing to do with my tenant. This is a by default thing which every workday consultant will do. Here, once I created a new project, I see this data explorer. Now, right, data explorer means since for my workday also, what is my primary information? Whatever I created in the tenant is my primary information, right? All these things has to be called in my workday studio. Now, how do I call it? I go to first data source. I right click and I say new data source because I wanted to create a link. Which data source I needed? I needed this workday report data source. Okay, I gave this information. Next. Okay, guys. Now from here, you see, view your connection detail. Connection detail means if, because what I'm doing, let me show you again. What I'm doing here by connection detail, I am making sure that my workday studio is connected with my tenant. So here I get this option update your connection detail. Okay, here I get to see the tenant. Obviously, I'm not doing in production, so I'm going to use this. 
this is my tenant name how do i get a tenant name go here whatever you see this is your tenant name and give the id and password so guys i have id and password i'm going to give that and test connection i'm going to see ah uh, 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 it is a time consuming activity i have to update studio without that it will not uh, uh, recently you remember right in march only march 8 we got the new release of workday so whenever i get new release a new workday release studio will release release will come if i talk about now it will take i think minimum 5 minutes to get this installed but without doing this i can't move on so let me see what happens again a time consuming activity guys but can't help it since i have already started okay, let's see if i can move on so let me see if i can get anything from here i am 100% sure i'm not going to get it without connection it is very because you if you don't have connection how would i get this report definition here let's say i'm looking out for it see because there is no relationship so guys i have to update i'll tell you in the, like let's suppose what i'm going to do here okay since it is in the meantime it if it is getting downloaded let's see and i have given all the information ah workday studio is out of date let me see if i could download the new version guys or else it will give me okay and very important point guys i can get workday studio it is not an though it is an open source but one has to have a community access to get this downloaded because workday studio is though it is not like delivered and deployed by workday but yes the presence and the exe file should be downloaded from workday community so let's see if i can download this one moment guys yeah it is getting downloaded here so we wait, wait for a uh, guys so okay 50% is already done so we'll wait for a couple of more minutes because without updated version i won't be able to perform any action since guys it is taking time to get downloaded let me talk about the prism right somebody has asked what is prism and why i am not covering so prism is again an advanced level of reporting but the primary feature and the primary function for prism again prism is part of workday it is recently uh, launched but what prism can do prism can give you the advanced version of reporting okay now what is an advanced let's suppose i'm giving an example guys let's suppose i have taken a survey again survey in third party application let's say Mon survey monkey is the third party vendor where i have taken the survey from all the employees now i have all the data in my survey monkey what if if i wanted to have that data updated into workday application sorry guys okay so if i wanted to update all that survey information in my workday application now workday doesn't have that field 
as per our primary reporting what we say any data which is there in workday we can get that information in our in our reporting but since my survey is not into workday it is into third party application but by use of prism workday view workday will give us an authority to upload all the information which was there in survey i can create that field i can update all that information which was there in my survey and i can populate all the information into workday system so once i have all the data then it's up to us guys we can create any report we can create any integration we can create any analytics reporting so this is what the primary use of prism is that you can prime uh, like prism allows you to get the data from any third party vendor into workday application and gives you an update or an authority to deal with that report data as you do with any other reporting field so right we created metrics report we created trending report we can create custom report all the things we can create once we have the data in place so prism is primarily used to update the third party information into workday application and deal with the analytic part make sense guys this is the primary use of bert report sorry prism reporting since guys it is still downloading if you guys have any queries i don't want to be pause and uh, let's wait for this download if you guys have any queries since this session again we'll i'll be in touch but not when the regular session via email yeah go ahead Mantan, uh, go ahead. Uh, yes, go ahead, Jaya. Yeah. Uh, will you be sharing the uh, template, Mantan? Yeah, I'm going to share that. Okay. Yeah, it's already been shared, but since I was not, I didn't cover that. So before covering and sending you any document doesn't make sense, right? So yes, I'm going to share you the template for TXT where you can play around with it. Okay. and you guys have recorded sessions at so any point in time when you come across any issues obviously you can look out for the videos and just try to execute the same parameters and then move on thank you okay okay yeah. guys uh, any other queries it is 1gb yes. file buddy so it takes time yeah uh, Mantan, uh could you just take us through this uh pick off and PCI? uh related anything related to pick off and pci so because is, uh, i'm uh, going to walk you through that what is pc and pick off but primarily this is not that is, that comes in the payroll right okay so what happens in pc and pick off it works in the similar way pc and pick off is a special kind of integration where you get the data from workday and send that information to payroll application let's suppose i am the payroll vendor okay and i need the payroll information let's say i need a uh, time in and time out information i need the uh, attendance thing and i need the component right if i say i wanted to generate a payroll what i needed i need the pay component right whether i'm getting pay basic pay i'm getting uh, allowance plan i'm getting one time payment i'm getting a bonus allowance bonus plan rather whatever information if i talk about payroll now see we created a very generic integration where we gave the demographic information in similar fashion we can give the payroll information, right? The attendance, timing, and all the pay component information. Let's suppose, okay, if I'm processing the salary on monthly basis, I understand that monthly salary will not change unless I am on out of pay, like leave without pay. But what happens if I have one-time payment in between? What happens I wanted to pay a pay, pay bonus, one-time bonus? So what happens in this scenario, PG and pick off is, a common output file for payroll which can be generated from workday so that is purely for payroll purpose but yes input for payroll is compensation and we store all the compensation information in workday so yes pc and pickoff is primarily used to send a data to payroll vendor where you send all the pay components and your timing and time out depending upon the requirement you send the information so for this purpose PC and pickoffs are used. But now 
guys, uh, since Peachy and Pickoff are now no, it is getting diminished, there is something other, a new concept came in picture where you can send the payroll information. So, yeah, Pickoff was now, now it is Peachy, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Pickoff was prior to Peachy, but now it is payroll common interface output file is going to send to the third party application. So, this is just an, uh, a definition, guys. I don't want to get into deep because it is more of a payroll kind of thing with integration so manthan uh, what is? how uh, how important uh, is uh, pg and pick off uh, i mean like uh, if we have an instance where we uh, crack an interview and there could be a requirement right we cannot say that we cannot uh, we haven't uh, uh, come across this kind of scenarios in uh, the earlier uh, profile which we worked on. So in that instances, how exactly we can, you know, uh, see, uh, work on this kind of things. I got it from where you are coming. So when you say you are working on Peachy and Pickoff, guys, Peachy and Pickoff is primarily for integration. So you have to be, you have to have an integration experience. As they said, guys. And that comes with an intense integration where you need to understand studio you need to understand core connector in place so if you say that you have a hands-on experience then yes you have to know uh, pc and pick up but when you say you are a technical consultant no one will ask you pc pick up or studio and what i we are covering here we are covering a techno functional kind of thing guys i still remember uh, we didn't committed that we are going to talk about this is because this is not part of HCM at all. It is altogether a different course where it requires dedicated 35 hours of training. Okay. So I don't know yeah. what kind of job you are targeting. If you are, if you wanted to be purely in integration, so I would recommend that go for Workday Studio, and then yes, you will understand PC, Pickoff, or any other kind of integration. If you dedicatedly wanted to work with Workday Studio, not with Techno Functional, then yes. I would recommend go out for studio as well in the same flow. Mm -hmm. When you also go for studio, HCM is prerequisite. Without HCM, no one will consider you for studio. All right, Mantra. Okay. Guys, since utilize this time, because still it is 60%, so I still see that uh, it might take five, four, or maybe five seven minutes more to get this updated uh if you guys have any queries in 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 terms of workday or anything uh i think utilize the time or else we'll be on mute then because without you... this getting downloaded i won't be able to move on with my bird reporting concept um uh, can you show how to remove the header um from the accessibility file yeah so in my accessibility what i have i have my header in one section and then I was calling my information. So just remove the header, entire header part. Your header will not show up in the output file. Okay. You're getting me. If you talk about my XSLT, my XSLT has two sections, right? One was my header definition, and second was my reference from where I'm going to get the data. If I remove the header entirely, so my header will not show up. It will only show the data. Okay. Guys, again. If you wanted to get more into that also, it's all about programming. If you deal with programming, if you know it, you know that how to write an XSLT, then you can bold, you can italic, you can hide, you can multiplication, you can do whatever you want, which XSLT applies. So, yes, just to start with, we had that part, but yes, if you wanted to get into more, you apply all the programming skills which you know, and you will see the difference in your output file. You will see that. Uh, the next question I have is the Workday Studio access. How can we get that, or is that included in the tenant access? See, a uh, bird. Okay, what I'll do since Bird Studio is in conjunction with Workday Community, and since Workday Community is stacked to individual, so you won't be getting Workday Community for sure. No one will give you that. But yes, what I can do is. I can share you this updated file. So this updated file, what I'll do, I'll give it to coordinator and you can get it from them. Okay. So it is one GB file. So obviously I'll have to share over some uh, uh, web portal or any other kind of drive. And then he will share you and then you guys can install. Okay. 
that work day studio primarily it has to be come from community but yes i agree that you don't have community so i'll give you this file externally from some again uh, uh, maybe google drive and from there you can download it that's good thank you um, what other courses do you teach manthan besides this one we we look after recruiting then talent management workday studio it purely depends what uh, like background you come from or what experience you have or what is your aspiration if you look out for a technical part so obviously i would recommend go for workday studio whatever prerequisite required to go for workday studio you already have that so again it depends on you what kind of uh, module or expertise you are looking out for so if you but could you tell me the... I'll, I'll guide you um uh, i really like the way you explain stuff and you um you know try to cover things in the beginning of the session what we covered in the last session so is there any other course that you teach or um is there other instructors i teach there I, no there are instructors like we have the team uh, since i come from huge background of workday techno functional so performance i take care and recruiting uh, at times when there are no uh instructors but yeah my expertise are into reporting primarily if i talk about that so what i do is i take care of performance management and uh, report a uh, technical part when it comes to uh eib report writer so apart from this what i have covered uh, uh if i want i can take care of recruiting and performance module okay but if you are interested in any other module so there are uh, as i said there are uh, other instructors uh, who will going to walk you through in terms of dedicated studio or maybe benefits or uh, i take care of advanced compensation also but yeah in terms of teaching i didn't get any batch where i talk about advanced compensation so i don't know how i am going to justify myself if given opportunity but yes i took part in uh implementing advanced compensation for one of my customer okay so guys it's all about practicing if you practice you you will understand workday is not that tough application let me tell you uh genuinely it is not that tough ask if you look out the gui it is very easy to understand anyone who comes from normal computer using background even they can do it what is required is to have an logic thinking if you are able to do a logic clearly if you put it in your logic you wanted to understand or explore more i think anyone who understand how to use workday are eligible to work on workday mm -hmm. ah it is time consuming let's wait for five more as i said guys before the start that i'm going to extend the session because right after that is only task of five minutes but since studio is not installed it is taking time but right after this it is only five minutes let me brief about that what i'm going to do when i say data source what i do in data source i'm going to call my report definition in data set i am going to give all the fields i have five fields i see all the five fields here in palette in palette we can have it is again a drag and drop let's say i have a label i wanted to have a label here i'll say that ab abc company okay now guys this is layout thing if i wanted to bold italic or increase the font i see this option here and i say let's make it 16 okay i want this is to be in center okay i get this in center if i wanted to deal with any color changes let's uh blue so it is drag and drop so i have this information let's say i wanted to have a table so what i'll do this is my palette view where I, it is drag and drop whatever field you see here i can have that let's say image i want image also so i want here image where i need to have my dynamic image so i'll select my image okay one second so what i needed guys i need the image where right after my image i need to get this so i'll get a image called workday logo let's see if i could get that there is workday logo okay workday logo 
so i see i want this image insert now what is happening this image is showing up here and the company name is showing down i wanted to have image and logo in the same way so what i'll do okay i can define the size okay and now i say that i want workday and the company name to be showing up here so i go on to my first image and i say this as inline again i go to company and i say this as sorry let me scroll down sorry uh -uh. yeah and i see this option here in line so what happens now i see now it's up to me if i wanted to drag i can put it here if i wanted to increase the size i can update this part okay now this is again my logo if i wanted to have a table so i can drag and drop my table here okay how many columns i need it basically i have five columns okay i see all the five columns now guys all the field which i have on my report will show up in my data explorer so i go to data explorer i'm just giving you a visual thing how it looks like in data set i see i will get all my five fields that my first name last name the higher date and all that information it is just drag and drop drag and drop so this will be my dynamic report how it will be generated when i run the report it will have workday logo it will have company and all my five fields okay at the down also if i need some if i need some text i can have label here i say that okay i can give the information that this is system generated report so signature is not required <laughs> okay i can have this information here so now how would my report look like see very important point to be considered guys all these things is like drag and drop so it's again depends upon the your way how you can deal with it what is more important point to get the data here how i get this information here we can get this information from our custom report so we created custom report so the primary data source for my bird report is my custom report okay so i should be having a custom report in place and there only i can create my business form layout so how do i connect if it get downloaded i get connected to my workday tenant if i get connected to my workday tenant i can call my report here i'll call my report and here in my data so i said i'm going to call all my five fields first name last name and it is all about drag and drop i need first name here i need last name here if i wanted to format my header i can select this and i can say that color i can perform all the options so it is all about layout just guys i am giving you the overview of a simple bird report yes there are advanced version where you have to write code if you are interested in that you need to write a script but here as i said we are just going to go overview of studio ah it is 65 it is taking time but this is how it looks like guys we'll give five more minutes because i don't want to extend the session for one more week simply to cover this part so bear with me for five more minutes because it is 1 gb of file 1 gb is a long data i should have checked this but since this is my personal thing personal laptop i didn't work on studio in my personal laptop so i didn't executed this so okay now let's suppose you are done with your data header what will happen now you created report design in studio how are you going to deploy this onto your work day so under run you will first see this option deploy to work day so what will happen whenever i click on this report deploy to work day so this report outlook format where i see a logo company name and my header and footer and this content this layout will be given to my report i have already created one report let me see if i could get that 
report. Let me just see that, guys. In my previous batch, I created one studio. So let me show you that if I could get that. CR employee demo report. Let me see this. I created in one session. Let me see if I see manage layout. Oh, there is no layout. No, guys, that definition is not no longer in the standard, or as I would have showed you. Okay, till the time it is getting downloaded. I think whatever is there in terms of explanation i did that just i wanted to show how you can connect your report to the data source and how you get that feed on this report and then it is all about drag and drop once you complete that under run you see deploy to workday or else if you wanted to test you can click on view report it will first test the report definition if it looks good to you then you can deploy this report to your workday tenant if you click on this what happens you will see the report definition under manage layout manage layout means my definition will be the <laughs> normal definition which i created layout means whatever layout i created in studio will be shown into my report output this is the only again only means a basic simple advanced bert report will work in this way but i see that it is going to take time so guys uh, uh let shall i stop the share and see if we, it, it if it works faster let me just see that or if you guys want uh, i'm getting a message that you may be experiencing network connection difficulty oh my internet connection is not that huge see uh, let me show you if i can share you something i think there is some issue with my okay not issue but my data speed is not that heavy that is the reason it is taking time it, it's stuck in six it's stuck at 65 mm -mm, because when i disconnected this i got a message your internet experience you might be experiencing experiencing a slow internet so guys uh, since it is downloading if it not I'll, I'll take some time to explain on this but whatever i had in terms of workday studio overview i think i have given i am pending with only two items very well when you guys want you can do that or if you stuck or if you need any assistance you can put it your question over an email and i'll answer them okay so i am pending with only two items the connection of my data source where i am going to connect my workday studio to my tenant first part then here i'll call my report obviously i can call the report where my report definition should be enabled with the web services and my data source will have all that five fields which were they first name last name sorry first name hire date location job profile and my employee id if i have that i can call it here employee id first name location job profile my employee id i can have all this information if i wanted to deal with my output i have all these options available with me i can drag and drop and i can create my bird report here once this is done you can very well go ahead and test the report in either of these three format once you are satisfied with your output what you can do is you can deploy your report to workday if you click on this what happens the report which i have created which is demo or let me see but 05 this report will have a layout option where do you get the layout option i go to the related actions and under layout i could see the layout name what layout name i have given i have given this first bird report so i'll have a first bird report so what happens whenever i run that report it will be run in the same format i'll have logo then i will have company name and then a system generated report so signature is not required this content and in between i'll have a data this is what is pending from my end okay i see 82 
guys will wait for five more minutes if not then okay studio consists of only ripu uh, bert or anything else amanth uh, no it is only it only report guys as i said see if i talk about workday studio also it is uh, you are not going to follow anything that is in since we have exposure to our custom report so 50% of information comes from custom report when i deal with bert reporting so as an example where if i talk about studio also you are not going to understand studio because as i said studio requires 35 hours of dedicated session where you'll understand so i chose bert reporting wherein when you say advanced report so bert report goes hand in hand and my layout always comes from studio so yes here what i can do is i can give you an overview of studio from start to finish where i created report then uh, created my design or layout in studio then deployed this layout into workday so what i did start to finish so yes you can very well if you have gen if you generate interest in here you can very well go ahead and understand bert reporting okay it's ask me for start let me see i don't want to restart now let's see if works if it works now i go to new workday report next connection was the issue with me let's see ah uh, 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 i have to restart guys uh, can you join in 5 minutes i am just restarting my system because i am just spending with two minute two task which is of 5 minutes task okay so bear with me just join the same link in 5 minutes thank you guys